as disciple makers, God is calling us to go into the world and speak his truth to a world that desperately needs it. We have been called to do that. We're the, the church is the only one that has that truth. The, the, the media doesn't have it. Fox News doesn't have it. CNN doesn't have it. it. It's the church. We're the ones. We are the called out ones, the ecclesia. Right? We, we're the ones that get to, that we've been called out of darkness into this wonderful light to tell people about Jesus. Right? The world loses when we don't do it. Um, our challenge, though, is to learn to speak truth in a way, um, truth and love, in a way that it can be heard. We're not responsible for what people do with it. You may be the most loving person on the planet, and you, most, you might speak the most true, the, the truest, truest truth. And they may, the, the people you're speaking it to may not respond the way that you hope, or even in accordance with it. That's not on you. That's not on you. That's on them, right? It's our job just to speak the truth. Sound good? Gosh, I love you guys. Let's pray, and then Pastor Kev's going to come lead us through communion. Father God, I'm so excited. Um, it, 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 I'm just excited for your word this morning. I'm excited, Lord, that you invite us to partner with you, to be your hands and feet, to be your truth bearers, to love people the way that you love, to, to be on a mission in, in a dark world, in a dark world, to bring light, the light of the gospel, the light of Jesus, the light that's empowered by the Spirit of God, the, the, the light that, that brings healing and hope. And, and sometimes, God, it, it brings it brings, um, it brings sadness for a while when, 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 our, when our sin is, is highlighted. But I love how you, you replace that sadness with joy in salvation. You are a good God. I pray this morning we would not only see your goodness, but we'd experience your goodness.